And that brings me to NBC, Ooh. another big network. You yes. may be familiar. They were in the news this week. Have you? Do you have any relationship with them? Did you ever? <laughs> have you watched it? It's, like, it's not very good, just so you know. This whole area. It's yeah. like, all my yeah. past yeah. ghosts are everywhere. <laughs> the ghosts of Megan's past. <laughs> Every Except block. the watch. It's serious. In the, uh, in the Thank God there. I found my way to the right building, ultimately. Um, so now there are reports that uh, there are a possibility some executives might be their next might be on the chopping block over at uh, MSNBC or NBC mm -hmm. as reports emerged that the head of MSNBC was actually in on the decision to hire Ron and McDaniel. Rashida Jones. Yeah. Even though, I mean, like, as soon as her people started freaking out on her, she's like, she will never be on MBC, MSNBC, never be on MSNBC. <laughs> Meanwhile, turns out she was behind the scenes approving the hire. Uh, that had not been disclosed. And... Now there are reports that multiple reporters inside of NBC are scared that their Republican sources are going to dry up and that they'll Good. never get Republicans yeah. on M M M either either MS yeah. or regular NBC again. Do they have Republicans on them? I know. I'm like, which Republicans <laughs> are these? I mean, Michael like, Steele. Really right-wing people like Michael Steele and Nicole <laughs> Wallace, right? Right. Yeah. But I will say, like, I'm not sure. I actually think the last point of, is kind of interesting because do you think core MAGA – is going to refuse to deal with the NBCs of the world, Meet the Press and so on, Lester Holt, as a result of this. Because I don't think they care about Ron and McDaniel. I think that's right. And yeah, I also yeah. think they want media coverage. So yes. I think big NBC will not pay any penalty for this. I mean, I, they'll pay a penalty internally, not from yeah. externally mm -hmm. from MAGA. I mean, the people on the outside watching this are mostly just rubbing their hands. How can you have an actual internal leadership crisis Based o on the hiring and unhiring of another, you know, political hack to be mm -hmm. a panelist. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You are running your organization so badly when that happens, and now we're getting leaks, right? Uh, showing Rashida Jones uh, here. That didn't come from her, I don't think. Uh, no. just the news that she mm -hmm. had been part of that. Uh, so, you know, if you're on the outside looking in, you're just like, oh, can I throw a little fuel in that <laughs> fire? That's fantastic. I am fascinated by the self conception of these places, right? Uh, the common viewer. I believe, is smart enough to know that cable news for 30 years has always had the Republican strategist, the Democratic strategist. Now, maybe there'd be the Never Trumper and the MAGA person, right? But, like, they don't expect those people to be neutral truth seekers. Right. It's not hard. Right. You know what they're doing when they're up there. What's happened over the last 10 years is that um, in all of, of cable news, but e even more on CNN and MSNBC than were had been previously, the space for... Uh, the actual MAGA contingent of, of the Republican Party, which is the dominant contingent, has shrunk down even while the self-conception of the places is like, no, we're not doing partisan cope television. No, that's not what we're doing. What we're yeah. doing is neutral <laughs> truth-seeking. <laughs> right. And whenever we see somebody out there, somebody named Donald Trump usually, who's saying things on camera live, the first thing that we're going to do when the comes back into the studio is tut-tut about all the falsehoods that we're just going to have to debunk right now in real time because the truth is what mm -hmm matters at this network. Damn it. I think they have gotten high on their own supply. They don't <laughs> yes. realize how the rest of the world <laughs> understands them accurately, which Correct. is not even to say that like, oh, they're bad because they're liberal. It's like, no, you're just on, you're a partisan cope. Fox is a partisan cope too, right. in a different direction. But we all actually, know that. Fox yep. manages to have liberals and progressives on air. They would have couple. more of them on air if they would actually come over. And that's the dimension of this particular controversy that I find so weird. Miss Miss Romney McDaniel's McDaniel's Romney, depending right. on the day. She's Romney's niece. She was yeah. pushed out. And she of had gig. to give up Romney because yeah. Trump didn't like it. Yes. She had to, she did that for him, and then she's pushed out by him. And that is the person that MSNBC just hired. You people ought to be able to run rings around her in a yeah. debate. Bring her on once per day. Could be fun. Dress her down yes. yeah. for five minutes of shame. You're terrified of the prospect of having her on air. Mm. What do you think about your viewers? What do you think about yourselves? You imagine that your, your arguments are so facile that they can't stand up to her being right. in the room interrogating them? Did, it is obscene. It's a good did, point. Did you ever, Megan, when you were working in television, get the impression that the people that were ruling over you, signing your paychecks, <laughs> were complete morons. <laughs> there was a moment many, that many I realized times. that they were all stupid. Yeah. And you look at MSNBC. Other than Roger. Roger was not stupid. Like he right. is, I mean, if you look at him in the Nixon campaign, you're like, wow, this guy has a storied history and yeah. you can love him he or hate brilliant. him. But he was a smart guy. No, but over and, at M NBC, it was the classic, like Harvard educated, 100%. have absolutely they, no feel 100%. for what actual people care about. Nothing. Type and, executives. And you, you hire, so like, I always think back, 
when they were getting criticized, MSNBC, and they start becoming a very liberal network, and people say, This well, is who we are. This is who we are, <laughs> and we have no black executives. Right. So they start on this kind of, you know, Rashida Jones, who the, the head of the network is black. They said, We need somebody to host a show. In the most kind of Upper West Side white person thing, they're like, I don't know, Al Sharpton, he's like a black guy. <laughs> And they gave him a show. It's like, what is wrong with these people? He's a black guy. He can't even read the prompter. Which gave us so many great compilations so many, of his, like, his so telephone. Many great and on SNL, making fun of him for that. But, but that's the least of his problems. That's the least of his problems. I mean, actually, they have him on and they say, oh, Rona McDaniel, she was horrible on January 6th. It's like, do you want to go back into Al Sharpton's past? Right. Mm. In all the uh, just pick one. roms that he tried to, pick to one. precipitate? Like Raise your hand if you try to start a race war. Yeah. Raise your hand. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah. Multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Let's note Maybe. that Megan's hand was up. <laughs> <laughs> she went, I know. She told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but this is because like, it's a bad hire. Just from a tele television perspective, it's a bad hire. Because yeah. if you've seen her on television, it's like, oh, God, this woman. She's not good at it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get somebody who's good at it. But also, it's good television to have people disagree once in a while in the this kind of amen choir that you get in you know these particularly when it's like election nights and oh the MSNBC table has like 70 people around it like mm -hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes and Michael Steele comes and he's like I was a Republican I was like yes, yes <laughs> you're a good guy like this is bad TV and then you hire this dope and I'm sorry she's a dope but you keep saying this like well she's she's lied about something Okay, let's go back from 2017 to 2021 and let's just do an audit of Rachel Maddow's show. Yeah. Convincing Americans that we're being ruled by a puppet of the FSB and the Kremlin, <laughs> maybe that has kind of malicious and bad side effects. Well, I wish, I, one of these days I'm actually gonna wear her little outfit because there's only the one that she wears. <laughs> I'm gonna take off all the makeup. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna pull my hair back even tighter than this. And I'm gonna do a real imitation of her. Because I watched her for 27 yeah. minutes the other night for the first time. I don't remember ever doing that before. Mm -hmm. And it was the most, like, she was like. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's very performative. Right, it was yeah. so performative, like, <laughs> yeah. really trying to get, like, you know, it, we're going to find out whether, whether the Congress will do its job yeah. or not. <laughs> whether the Supreme Wrong. Court will do its job or not. <laughs> and then the credits roll and she walks out into her helicopter and disappears. Yes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just a She's a woman of the people, people though. Course, yeah. Woman of the people. And then yeah. there's 35, you 30 million dollars to do one the, show a week? On the eyebrows though, like yeah. the eyebrow placement yes. is well, really- Well, that's yeah. thanks to my doctor. There's nothing that can be yeah, done yeah. about that for another yeah. three or four months. Yeah, I'm, those, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so, all right, predictions. Do you believe that an executive at MSNBC mm. or NBC will be fired? I can you, can yes. you fire Rashida Jones? Uh, no. Mm, can you do I don't think tough. Well, the dynamics tough. are hard. She's got the double. That's yeah, the whole black thing. and That's a woman. That's their whole yeah. thing. Unfire. Yeah. That's all they care We've about. We've tried to fire Camille. And like, <laughs> we don't even care about those politics. And he's like, nope. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's in the rule book. I don't know if you know, as he refers to it, uh, he has the melanin force field, <laughs> which is Camille's term for his protection. I think they have to fire somebody because they have a staff revolt. And I mean, it's the thing that we've seen so many times, although yeah. it feels a little bit hungover, right? It was yeah, like, that right. was classic 2020 behavior. Started with the Me Too ramp up. And then like when everyone lost their mind in the summer of 2020. The Woody know, Allen book, Spotify with Rose. Again, yeah, staff exactly. revolts. Which, you know, now, now Neil Young's back on Spotify. Exactly. That's oh, how he's much such the, a, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, he is. Yeah. The P word. Knows yeah, where he yeah. is uh, on any given day. <laughs> but uh, this, the, it feels like that is crested, but still you have these places, uh, generally large institutions, um, who will make the mistake of having like a staff meeting to talk about a controversial read, political, mm -hmm. um, uh, coded uh, event. And they're still in terror of their staffs and of their 25-year-olds so and 30-year-olds. On that front, did you see the letter from the you know, the head, the head guy over at NBC, Caesar, whatever his last name is. Honda. Yeah, yeah thank you. Who, um, he said, you can't run a newsroom without cohesion amongst the staff. Mm -hmm. Yes, you what? absolutely, that's what? the only way you can run yeah. a yeah. newsroom. So 100%, yeah. Yeah. what are you saying? Yeah. 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 So we all have to be in agreement before we can make Correct. any executive moves, yes. any hires, any directional changes, any story pitches. Real leadership. Or, and that's, that's insane. And that's the head of NBC, and, and uh, people at home don't necessarily always understand the difference. NBC News is a fairly straight for a, a broadcast company news division, just like, um, 
CBS has a news division um, that's like MSNBC is understood to be more to the partisan tip of the spear. And this is part of actually the story, like the Roe McDaniel hire, they hired it first at NBC and then like, let's go on MSNBC where yeah. we're more, uh, where we're more partisan. So when the head of NBC, right, the more truth seeking news organization is saying we need staff cohesion. Cohesive and aligned, he said mm -hmm. that newsroom must be. Aligned. God, no. Diversity. God, no. I mean, yeah. Reason Magazine, which I work for and have for 20 years, a libertarian magazine. We know where the, uh, libertarians are coming from, where Reason staffers are coming from. We still disagree with each other mm -hmm. about plenty of things internally. It couldn't be that someone would work there and say, you know what? The government needs to solve every problem. Okay, you're not going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to work out. out here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. there's all kinds of ways and all kinds of issues, abortion, immigration, whatever, um, where that there could be disagreements of it. We don't want everyone to be aligned because then suddenly you're not going to be able to speak to everybody in your and, audience. And you're going to get things wrong. And That's you're going to get things thing. wrong. Exactly. Grand Canyon University, a private Christian university in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, believes in equal opportunity and that the American dream starts with purpose. Change the world for good by putting others before yourself. Whether your pursuit involves a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, GCU's online, on-campus, and hybrid learning environments are designed to help you achieve your unique academic, personal, and professional goals. With over 330 academic programs as of September, GCU meets you where you are and provides a path to help you fulfill your dreams. The pursuit to serve others is yours. Let it flourish. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.